See how peaceful it is in London? I am bang slap in the middle of London and all I can hear is pneumatic drills and tractors. <laughs> An incredible amount of noise somewhere over there, but with a bit of luck you can't hear anything and in fact I soon don't notice it. This is my little haven, um, perhaps the most important, whatever it is, 30 square feet or something, um, patch in my life because this is my garden. It didn't start off like this and so I'm afraid it's all my responsibility and my fault as my wife would put it because when she last came out of the garden she said, I said what do you think of it now and she said um, there's a word for it ludicrous ludicrous my ludicrous garden one day I shall have a series called my ludicrous garden and my wife I, well, I won't give her any money because she didn't deserve it Anyway, there's a sort of, um, I, we'll get to the wildlife bit in a minute, but let me just show you this, this, the, 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 the idea behind it, which is you have to have little corners with a sort of a theme, as it were. So this corner around there, and that one over there, and that little patch, you can come this way, cameraman. Be careful not to fall in the pond. Oh no, actually, do fall in the pond, it would be quite funny. Um, <laughs> test the camera, won't we? Uh, this, this is a sort of inca bit, I think, of it. I'm sure it isn't really, but it, it, it looks like Inca ruins in Peru or something. Um, the, the, the gnomes are rather good. There's a, a bird watching friend of mine from Poland who brought that all the way across Europe from Poland and gave me that. And um, uh, he said, Oh dear, Bill, I'm afraid it got a little bit broken. He broke the arm off it. Uh, the right hand, the hand is missing. And I realised the hand was missing because actually it's a hunter and he had a gun in its hand. <laughs> And my friend simply couldn't bring himself to give me that that we um, um, a hunter with a gun, so he broke it off, and I've been the mistake instead. Um, that's a pond, little one. First, first natural history note: ponds very important. I've got quite a few actually. You come, come this way. Careful of the pigs. Oh, the pigs. Um, you will be noticing, by the way, lots of we've panned out a bit. There you go. Lots of animals. They're not real. But uh, there's a nice variety of aquatic creatures around here. Um, not animals that live so much in the water, but the otters and some Carolina ducks or wood ducks. Uh, a couple of sea otters. They don't really belong here, do they? They're completely incongruous and out of place because sea otters belong in America and the west coast of that. A few lap wings. This is, this, is the, the, this is a cross between come, come, the beach and I've called it Vietnam. I don't know why I've called it Vietnam. It probably ought to be Borneo or somewhere like that, but it's meant to be a bit of rain for it. could even be down in South, South um, America somewhere. It's meant to be a bit of rain for us anyway. Now, as we're walking around, oh no, one more thing. I'll just introduce you to the gnomes. Doesn't get much sillier than this. Oh, look at this. Good Lord, somebody's left a whole pile of bird food. Mmm, that looks good. Speaking on behalf of the bird. We'll get to that in a minute. Gnome corner, gnome corner here. Now, you may be thinking, <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> or you might be thinking, well, yes, that's kind of quirky and fun and the grandchildren probably like it, but what about the wildlife? Because it does break several rules. Um, scattered around for a start, as I said, are many plastic creatures. And you'll notice, for example, I keep changing direction, don't I? That some of them are predators. Great big owl, I think it's meant to be an eagle owl. Um, I can't really show it you, but there's up on the top there, there's a plastic peregrine on the corner of the, of the shed there. It's a long way away, take my word for it. And generally speaking, people would say those, and the, the heron, for example, an eagles and the heron down here, surely to drive away other birds. Well, it doesn't work. It's as simple as that. Um, <laughs> if you, you know, people have often said to me, well, I've got one of these plastic herons to keep the heron off my goldfish, and it, it, it doesn't work because herons come round, uh, real ones, and take the goldfish. Well, of course they will, because herons, the way it works is they'll see a heron, and think, ah, must be some food down there. Down goes the heron. Yes, there is. What's more, this one isn't even moving, so it's all for me. 
I'm not kidding. This isn't a joke. It actually, I'm afraid most of these things do not work. I think they look great in the garden, but put it this way, birds are not stupid. I'm not going to be able to show you right now, but I promise you, I've got lots and lots and lots of photographs of blue tits and great tits and robins perching on top of the head of the owl or one of the birds of prey. They know when it's not real. Anyway, as I said, things which you'd think might scare the birds away. Mirrors, reflecting things, that's another one. A mirror down there. And there's mirrors all over the place. In fact, they reflect the sunlight. We've even got a couple of mirror balls nicked from the local ballroom. And um, it's another of those gardener's rules. I know I said, oh no, we can't have mirrors because the birds are all attack them, thinking it's uh, um, a rival. I've only ever, in 25 years, yep, 25 years that we've lived in this house, only once have I ever seen a bird attack its own reflection, which was a uh, um, hedge sparrow, and they are madly um, sort of defensive and aggressive when necessary, and it wasn't going to do it any harm either. It just bounced off a couple of times and thought, hmm, this is weird, and went away again. Um, I've never seen it happen, so that's another of those things. You'd think you were breaking some terrible law if you put a mirror in your garden. Oh, RSPB will be on to you. You'll be locked up for months, but nah, come on. It's not going to do any damage. Um, and the thing is, this little garden, with all those bird scaring elements, does attract quite a lot of birds, actually. Got a question here. Shall I just carry on with it? Uh -huh.